Hey everyone, this is Keith the Beat 24 and this is a tutorial on how to do Star Wars blaster effects in Particle Illusion SE or Particle Illusion 3.0. Either program will work for this tutorial. Today I'll be using Particle Illusion SE right here and I'm going to click on it and open the window. So what we have in my screen right now is on the right side we have our panel of particles or also called emitters. The emitter that we will be working with today and changing is Smooth Glow. You can also use Smooth Glow too. It's the same, basically the same thing. So there's Smooth Glow. And we're going to start off by double clicking on it. And this should bring up a new box. This, these are the emitter properties. And so we're going to find Smooth Glow in the sidebar to the left. Double click on it. And then these should bring up a bunch of new options right here. These options each one of them, if you change them, it'll change the look of the particle that you can see in the preview box to the right. So first we're going to start off with life at the very top. And we're going to click on that line and we're going to drag it down to 10. Right there, should be fine. Next we're going to go to number and we're going to scroll all the way up to about 600. Make sure the line's at 600. This is the default setting, so make sure it's there. Next, for size, we're going to change it from 190, and we're going to bring it down to about 100. That will work just fine. Next, for velocity, we're going to keep it at 100. This is the default setting, so just keep it there. Also, same with weight, spin, motion rand, bounce and zoom and next for visibility double click on that we're going to change it from 50 and we're going to bring it up to 80 and then lastly for tenth strength emission angle emission range active and angle these all these just keep them as the default settings you don't need to mess with them or anything for this tutorial unless you want to of course but it's not necessary. So now we've done all of these options, we're going to move on to new options within the particle. As you can see below, there, there's trail and glow. First, we're going to work with the trail of the particle. And again, it gives us all these options, just like the previous one we did. So it gives us all the options that we're going to change. So now we're going to go to the right, and we're going to click on the colors tab. We're going to change the color of the trail. And you can see this bar right here has a bunch of different colors in it. Unfortunately, we want we do not want those colors. We just want a white color, so we're going to right click, click reset, and yes, we want to delete all points. And so what we're going to do is we're going to get to get a pure white color. We're going to drag that to the white area and now automatically get a white in the bar. So now we have our white trail and we're good. So next we're going to move on to the top of the list, the life. So we're going to click on that. And we're going to change the life and we're going to bring it down just above the midpoint right there. Next, we're going to go to number and we're going to bring it all the way up to the maximum or that's also as high as it can go so it really can't go any farther. Next, for size, we're going to keep it right there. That's the default setting, so just keep it right there. Next, for velocity, we're going to keep it right there and then also keep the default settings for weight and spin and motion rand but for bounce we're going to take it from min and we're going to bring it all the way up to the middle point right there that's good next for visibility we're going to bring it down to oh, about between 70 and 80. Anywhere between there will work just fine. There we go. And then life variation right there. All the way through bounce over life. You don't need to change any of the settings there. Just keep the default settings. They're, un they're unnecessary to change for this tutorial again. So now we've done trail. We're going to move on to glow. And just the same thing as trail. Just click on it. And again it brings up all the options again. Just as before. 
And again, we're going to go to the colors tab. And this time, we want to change that bar full of colors right there. And we're going to want to change that to just red because we are making a droid blaster. So again, delete all the points. And we're going to move that box to get a reddish orangish color or one that fits your liking. Just mess around with it if you need to find the right color. Also, if you want to make a Republic Blaster, just simply make a make it blue, and you have a Republic Blaster. So it looks like a good color, right there, and it looks good. So we, now we have our color for the glow, and now we're going to move on to life. So just click on life on the top of the list, and we're going to move the life down on the grid, just down two spaces, about just below the middle point. That's good. Next, for number, we're going to bring it up and we're going to make it just below maximum. This is kind of a customizable setting. You can really put it wherever you want to. That's in between middle and max. It's right there. I'm going to use that. Next, for size, we're going to move the size down just a little bit below the middle point. Right there. That should work good. And next for velocity, we're going to click on that. We just want to keep the default settings. Same with weight. And also spin. And motion rand. And we're also going to keep the bounce right there too. And for visibility, we're going to also keep that at 100. And then again, live variation through bounce over life. Just keep those as the default settings. You don't need again you don't need to change those unless you really want to, but it's completely unnecessary. So now we've completed our particle. So we've done every step of the way and now you can see the particle in the preview screen. I'm sorry it's kind of choppy, but that's basically what it kind of looks like. And it looks pretty good. And so we're gonna click OK. And now we have our Separatist Droid Blaster. It looks pretty good, and it's ready for your films. So, uh, thanks for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, post a comment. And so, thanks for watching.